You guys, I found the craziest quarter box in Dallas Card Show history. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Everything I find in this box, I'm going to live sell it on whatnot. And I just, I couldn't believe it. I saw six collectors surround around all these boxes and I was shocked. I was like, wait, what is, how much is all this? And the guy's like, dude, everything in here is a quarter. And I see people with stacks this high. We're gonna walk over there and I'll show you. I'm gonna buy everything I can in these quarter boxes. I'm gonna run through what I'm buying. We're gonna sell it all and whatnot. Let's roll, let's do this. thing on hello hello yo what up everybody welcome to dallas day two stayed up till one i finished this deal at 1 a.m last night i picked up a pretty cool card and i want to show it to you guys because it's not it wasn't filmed so this will be the first look 2016 17 noir dejounte murray one of one rookie patch logo tag autograph on card autograph right there i picked this up i did a deal with terrence last night if you don't know who terrence is i'm shocked terrence is one of the nicest people in the hobby he and i did our first deal last night and had a really good time catching up i learned a lot about the hobby through him he's been collecting and wheeling and dealing for a minute here got this deal done i i, I couldn't pass it up so i picked this up and it's a great card to have not just for this Dallas weekend, but I couldn't take this to Atlanta. And it's one of DeJounte Murray's best cards besides an RPA or anything else. So very happy about this. And if you look up DeJounte Murray, he does not have very many one of ones. I got my contacts in, showered up, rocking the goat messy today for the show. Got some packs to give away. I'm still waking up. I'm gonna go meet David for breakfast right now, card junkie. And then after breakfast, we're gonna hit the show, start setting up and we're gonna have a good time. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's do this. Show me what you got. What's in here? Everyone's talking about this box. So this is just an example of what Matt stacked in. Joe Burrow, numbered cards. I try to pick out like almost every numbered one. Excuse me, sir, do you have your pass? Right here. What are you buying? Anything and everything that makes sense to sell that I can make money on. Oh, and man. some collectible PC items. Are you gonna sell me that follow your dreams Aaron Rodgers card? Are you gonna follow your dreams? I'm gonna follow them. We could possibly potentially make a deal. I've had that card for a long time. He has I, this five star autograph and Aaron Rodgers wrote out follow your dreams. Not five star, top supreme. Top supreme, even better. I, listen, I used to have a lot of respect for him, but I don't like the way he talks about Detroit. I, I, you know, I have a collection of him, you've seen some of it, but I don't like the way he shits on Detroit and stuff and they've owned him the last like three, four years. I just want to say that Rodgers seems like a good guy, but comes off very arrogant. Honestly, I'd like to see him replace Brady in like Tampa. This is the main post. So tell me about this madness here. All right, so this is like three years worth of collection buying during COVID, just quarters, dollars, anything that uh, just bolt that we hadn't had a time to get to. And when the market was so hot, the market's kind of slowed a little bit. So we had some time to pull quarters, dollars. We got a hundred fresh quarter boxes and uh, 50 fresh dollar boxes. And this is all quarter right here? All this I'm gonna raid the boxes. We're gonna have a good time. I already see the first card I want. TJ Watt, red color match. Add that to the pile. We're gonna auction these on whatnot. So it'll be starting at a dollar. And I mean- I'm sure they'll get three, four, five dollars on the Rolly fingers. I mean, I would I would buy from you and ship all this home. This is excellent. So we're gonna flip through and see what we like in here. These are all colors. These are cool. Looking for stars. So this Mitch Richmond's pretty cool. So I actually interviewed Mitch Richmond at the National. I tried to buy this card before the whatnot thing and it was three to five bucks anyway. So for 25 cents, no shipping. I mean, it's right here. Oh, these Anthony Davis parallels. Like he's, for 50 cents, I could run these as a lot. I mean, we're gonna see what we can do here. Can you flip 25 cent cards for money? And I think if you buy the right stuff, and you build a good reputation, I think you can. We probably have a few hundred thousand quarter cards, I would imagine. And people are, you know, already getting bundles, two, three, four hundred cards at a time. People love Jaw Morant. These are good for kids packs. I'll probably just grab a stack of these Jaws. You got a Brock Purdy Elite oh. uh, Certified Rookie Ooh. card. That's sitting in the quarter box. Look at that. Oh, it's always good. I mean, always he, good. he was out here digging yesterday yeah. too. And look, he found, he didn't, no one found that until today. So that shows you how loaded they are. Are you kidding me? This was out all day yesterday. He found a Brock Purdy at a 2.9. What's that, like a $100, $200 card? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, there's one on eBay. 
for 150 and there's one on bid at 35 bucks right now. I think you're looking between 50 and 150 dollars right there. Hard work pays off. <laughs> so what you know what's the crazy thing is we probably bought that card for five cents last year or whatever, yeah. you know. That's how stacked the quarter boxes are. I mean, this is crazy. Out of all the Dallas cartridges I've ever been to, I have to say these are the best boxes. So we, I need to find a deal like that in here. So we're going to work. We're going to work. So we are going through the collections, getting the quarter dollar jump jersey autos uh, all gathered up. We had two three-row boxes full of jerseys autos. We we're going through it. We found a prestige Demar Hamlin autograph. Uh, that's going to go to Dave and Adam sports cards. They're just going to get that because they're such good customers. Uh, we don't want to mess with the eBay bids and people not paying, so we're just going to take care of them. You're going to give it to Dave and Adam? Yep. Wow, that's Kev cool. Kevin is. Kevin Strunk. Kevin. Kevin Strunk sports cards. All right. Pan to the quarters. See how many people are digging the quarters? Yeah. Over here. Now they're the, looking over here, though. All, you yep. All this is fresh out. dollars. Hey, this is all mine, all right? Okay. Check this out. This is out the back of the dollar box. Desmond Baines. Oh, I need that. Bill Russell color. Sold. Sold. Simmons color. Wiseman rookie. Wow. Halliburton. Scotty Barnes. You sold me on the first two cards you pulled out. Two Jordan pools. A Luka 2012 throwback. Demontis Sabonis from my PC out of 149. Lamelo Ball Origins. Are you kidding me? Paul Pierce Coast to Coast. The Kobe of this is an insane card. Anthony Simons rookie. Bill Russell Orange Cracked Ice. Rest in peace, Bill Russell. I mean, the list goes on. This is insane. This is ridiculous. I, I'm, I'm having a field day here. Manuel Neuer at a 49, not bad. Mick Schumacher. The best thing about dollar boxes and quarter boxes, so in my opinion, you could do the thousand dollar cards. They're great. If you know what you're doing, you have the right clientele. But with 25 cent dollar boxes, it's low risk. You know, this year I really want to talk about more of my deals. Sometimes we just go to shows and buy and interview people and like, it's great, we have a good time. But I want to show the process. Wow, look at that. DeMarcus Cousins, certified RPA. Hey, you're the man. Thank you, bro. Oh my God, what's the show called on uh, Netflix? The blind dating show, Love is Blind? Yeah. Was that you that was going to cut the lock? Yep. Oh my gosh, this is the guy. <laughs> yep. I found it. He found the lock. Who was it? Zeneb and who? Zeneb and Cole. All right. If you guys watch that show, Love Is Blind, this this guy was gonna <laughs> cut the lock that they that they had on the episode. Where is it at? On the bridge? Uh, it's about 20, 30 minutes from here on a bridge. I was bored one night, and my girl loves that show. I was like, well, looks like I'm gonna go find it. So I did. <laughs> he found it. You didn't cut it though. Didn't cut it yet. Not yet. Oh my god. I brought cutters with me though, just in oh, case. Oh. <laughs> I had to ask you about that. I saw that Twitter. So Del Piero, legend. I bought the Del Piero Weston McKinney, United States soccer right there. Gavi, let's go. That's actually sick. I like him a lot. Look at this, Mbappe, Neymar, and Messi, the first edition. That's a great dollar card. Yo, I was just on the phone with you. No way, you came from Chicago. Yes, sir. Oh. Leap of faith, baby. You, wait, you drove out here? Yes, 12 oh hours. Oh my God, Victor. How you doing, bro? 12 hours. I just was on the phone with him. I, I was like, yo, I'm going through the 25 cent bins. All right, guys, the soccer box. Pretty cool stuff. I didn't know much, but here's what I picked out. Not necessarily buying. Messi for a dollar. Also found some F1. Sidney Crosby, yes, Hundo P. Timo Werner, Green. Here's some football, Christian McCaffrey. Richard Sherman out of 199. Big Ben number, some color. Justin Jefferson, rookie. Michael Thomas, rookies. He, he was good. Colin Kaepernick, rookie. Some color, Joe Montana. These are great for a dollar. Joe Montana, Reggie Bush, rookie. Donald Driver, gold. Jalen Ramsey rookie, Ronaldo, some good stuff in there. So I'm gonna go through baseball next and we'll uh, show you guys what's up. Corbin, what do we think of these boxes? They're great. Look Anthony what we found. Volpe rookie out of 999. Found uh, the he found a Juan Soto in these boxes. Yeah, Soto rookie, two of them. Just because somebody went through a box doesn't mean they're gonna find everything. Oh, yeah. I skipped through two Soto rookies. I missed, missed the mark. Found a Reese Hoskins rookie. I went to high school with him. Found some cool posy. Extractor and some other cool stuff. What up? Oh, look who it is. Hey, D Rose. What up, baby? D Rose freaking Timberwolves. At a 199 Allen Iverson in the Nuggets. I'm the only one at this dollar box, and he's brought me new boxes. My strategy is I want to fill this entire box. I'm going to tell you exactly how much I paid for this, and I'm going to show you what it ends up being on whatnot. So we're going to run everything in this box at a dollar, 
and we're gonna show you guys what the results is. I picked this up, for example, Max Muncy, just because he's a collector. Shout out to Max if you're watching the videos. You put the time in and you're gonna get rewarded. You find a couple gems here and there. Jeff was telling me about a couple people wanting to buy them out. They don't want to do that because they're going to be going to multiple shows. So he's going to be unloading a lot of this stuff at different shows. So for someone like me, you put in the time and the work, you're going to get rewarded. I like this kind of stuff. You know, it's low risk, high reward. And, you know, sometimes it can be risky. You, you might not, like, think about it. Let's just say I spend $1,000 on all this and I, on whatnot we end up with 800 bucks. I lost 200 But if I buy that $10,000 card and I lose five grand, that loss feels worse than a loss like this where, yes, it takes time to put in the work, but... I'm having a good time while doing it. I'm finding PC cards. I found at least se seven to 10 Sabonis cards. I'm probably gonna keep at least 20 to 30 cards in this whole lot. I found the steel of the boxes. Sports card investor, Jeff. Look at this, Will Briere. I should pick these up for him. They're only a dollar each out of 75. Shout out to Jeff. You know Michael Kim had to pick up some Bay Area. Show me what you got. Let's say we got three maxis here. Napkins. Napkins, nice. Mimi seal. A couple Kamingas. You like Kaminga? That is beautiful. And the Jordan Pool on card auto. Pretty cool. Pool party's going off. Pretty cool. Oh, on auto. One of one, Jerry Rice. Kind of cool, right? It's I hate that it's a sticker auto, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. How much is this? How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. Dude, sell it to me. You gotta go on a mystery pack, I'll baby. Four, I'll give you 425. Incorrect. 450. I'd rather just buy you dinner. I'll give you 475. So I told them when we were in Indiana last, I was gonna sell you my Davis Mills. You were gonna buy them for 325. Yeah, what did I say? Davis Mills is no good. Yeah, bro. You what know is he? 30 what? second in QBR. Do you know how much I sold those cards for? I sold one of them for $100. Isn't that what I offered? No, you offered 300 You want the Jordan Pools, the Kylers, here you go. We already own I got no hands, Jay. Let's put it in there. All right, what else? Um, That's Kobe. Is the Kobe, this, what is this? Yeah, how much is that? 150 What about this uh, gold Brett Farm out of 10? No, that dude's uh, no good. All right, let me, let me. <laughs> that, Dirk? He's got to pay tax. Yeah. How much is Dirk? 250 Perfect. Let's take a look at these. Austin's into the Jordan Poole, the Kyler, Jalen Green, school rookie, Dirk, and the Trey. What's the Trey doing? 325. Yeah, he was supposed to play on, and like, didn't show up to shoot around. I guess the coach said like if you don't play, so you couldn't shoot around. Like, he was like, you can't play. He didn't show up. On that. And then he won the play. 150 on that. So let's see. What's he? There. Two on that. Two. Twelve. Chilling. Look, who's about to hose me on some power? Crown round. What? What do you, what'd you find on this? Film it. Uh, one seventy-five. All right, here's my number. Talk to me. Be All right, like, where do you? What number do you think I'm at I right think now? It's gonna be over a thousand. I'm gonna set the over right. under at a thousand. I'm at thirteen eighty. That's way off. All right, what do you want to pay? Eight fifty. So break it down for me. Show me this. This was like one and a quarter. This was 175. This lasted 188. This lasted 100. 220. Three and a quarter. A thousand bucks. And not here. No, 850. I'm at a thousand. I'll come up to nine, but that's it. Thousand bucks. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna I'd rather keep them. That's all right, man. Keep them. Thank you, boys. I love you. Love you guys. The deal doesn't always get done. I can get 1200, 1300 on this. If I could have gotten a thousand, it would have been nice. But I'd rather keep this on card Dirk. These are all really liquid cards. Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. I don't really need the 900 that bad. As much as I love dealing with Austin. Last time I was with Austin, I didn't sell him the Davis Mills. That's the That was the guy. But I didn't feel comfortable doing the deal because it wasn't the number I needed. So we'll see if that bites me. If you guys think I should have done the deal, comment down below if you think it was a good pass. Tell me. Thank God you passed. So what do you got in your hand over there? You see Baker? Oh Baker boy. Mayfield, the GOAT. Yeah. He actually played surprisingly well. But who's that right next to him? Sam Darnold, the GOAT. <laughs> Those were obviously old pickups. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh gosh. Oh, Cooper. <laughs> How many you got? Dude, you might have a buyer here. We're in Dallas. We'll see. 
Here are the 19 cards I brought to Dallas. Trey Young Red Prism. I picked that up last night, the DeJounte. Mantle 3.5, Gold Prism Brett Favre. Origins Burrow 1 of 1. Devonta Smith. Jordan Poole, Patch Autograph, Rookie. Timothy Weah, Kyler. Jalen Green, Jordan Poole, Justin Fields out of 225, Towns and Willie, Dirk on card autograph, Timothy Wea USA, Red Prism Kobe, and then the triple linebackers, Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis, and Gerard Mayo. Look who we got here. What? What is that? Tracy? Let's go, Roadshow Cards. Look at this. I gotta, I gotta give this guy a hug. He's here. Look, Look at this. Doing, Look at this guy. Big hug. This is my guy. Talked about Kentucky. This is hey, we need some help. The Do you play ball? You can come oh, help us dude, out. We I will. I we got it, man. Are you doing good? Look at this, man. Yeah, doing great. How we doing? I miss all these guys. I miss this you. Is my crowd. This is this is the family reunion right it here. It is a family reunion. Jimmy, tell him you just invited us to Kentucky. I know everybody's jazzed up. Yes, we're gonna go watch the Auburn Kentucky game. We're all gonna sit courtside. Hopefully by then the Kentucky's got turned around and we're going the right we'll, direction. We'll film some content, so I'll probably be at the Roadshow Shop. I'm thinking I'll come in the 23rd. Perfect. Come and on. I'll leave Sunday the 26th. Tyler, let's do this. I'm down. Let's go. Bro, we're going to Lexington. Keep the hobby healthy. JD up in this. What's that mean? He's going to be taking over the camera the next 48 hours. Yes. Let's go. Get, get into the gear. He's going to capture it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to give him a Josh Palmer red and a silver. I know you like Josh Palmer. That's wow, guy. DeMarcus Cousins one of one. This is why I had to change the gift. I'm gonna give you this pack of cards. Yeah, look at that. My man. This guy PC's Josh Palmer. Actually played pretty well yeah. when Mike Will or when Keenan Allen got hurt. And Mike so. Will, and Mike Will. Yeah, dude, thank you, bro. DeMarcus yeah. Cousins one of one magenta plate for the PC. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins in person auto, bro. I found it and I was like, so he picked Brady, and I said anybody that picks Brady to win, I'm gonna give him more leads. So I'm not a Brady fan. I'm just gonna say hey, that. Hey, you're just gonna pick it. But then I know you like Luca, so there's a Luca in there. It's an insert. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Thank you. I can't buy that. No, that's no, real. What? Yeah. Dude, thank you, bro. What is? Marvin Bagley. It'll go in the PC box, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, Marvin Bagley, Jersey, Rookie Auto, 8510. We chose to draft this guy over Luca Bagley. That was the wrong pick. You, you like Mickey Mantle? Oh yeah, vintage. You're a big vintage guy, huh? Where's your stuff? Uh, it's got good coloring. I told you, what did I tell you, five? What's your offer? 450. 435, that's pretty specific. Cash? Let's do it. Thank you. So my dad has a 52, so we're trying to get all the 50s and 60s. Okay, this is cool. So this is going to your dad. Your, you and your dad are collecting this? Yeah, so I just picked up a 53, so we have all 50s. We need to get 60s. I'll tell you what. Since you're doing that, give me 420 bucks. All right. Thank you. Yep. Use that other, what? You got a 15 extra? Buy something cool. Thank you. Picked up a 58 mantle. It's a great buy, dude. Wow, big Jalen Hurts. Cole Anthony collects oh, yeah. Pokemon cards. Nice Shout out to Celebrity Card Breakers on Instagram. Trevor Lawrence, Brady Yellow. How much are the two Bradys? This lasted 430, that lasted 110. What is this number though? It's Honeycomb. Oh, Honeycomb short print. Tommy Hilfiger autograph. How much is this? That's like, that's out of 10, 25, and then 10. I need to I need to make a package still on I wanna flip these. 125. Yeah, yeah. That one twenty five. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay, we paid one twenty five on the lot. Tommy Hill figure. Dominic Wilkins hollow jam out of ten. DeAndre Jordan rookie autograph. Tom Brady QB Vision Yellow and a Cole Anthony autograph. And the Brady's out of seventy five. It's a ten. This was five hundred bucks in twenty twenty. That's ridiculous. That's Dude, times have changed, man. I my first card show, watching you about three months, I can come here and make deals without being scared. So your advice and everything is awesome. Dude, yeah, stuff. of course, bro. I, just, I always say we're all in the same boat, man. I'm just kind of marketing. I don't know if you're a big investor in merchandise at all. This is uh, our family business called Father and Son. Uh, we have Brady stuff. We got 
Jeter's first World Series signed by the team. Wow, look at these. If you like Eli Manning, when they beat the undefeated Patriots, their whole team signed it. Everything authenticated, insured, Walter Payton, William Are you guys based out of here? Uh, New Jersey. I'll look it up. Awesome. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. We're going to go finish our dollar box, 25 cent deal. Some of the best dollar boxes we've seen. So we're going to go check it out right now. Let's go. Here's my rankings of shows. This is, I'm breaking the news here. The National is always the best. Then I'm going to go Dallas. And I'll go as far as to say Burbank's number three for right now. And that's where we're at. So Burbank's up there. So if you can make it to Burbank. Also going to be at the Culture Collision. You guys got it. You can't miss out on that. Three hours in. Yeah, I, I, I took my break. I, I relaxed. You're in the 25 cent boxes now. Yeah, I, I have a whole nother lid back there full. So now I'm about to probably go on my third. All so right. Just, so, so, I, so there's still deals to be had. Here. Absolutely. So he and I raided the dollar boxes. And I'm going to join you and get back in this. Let's get it. We're in the 25 cent boxes. Yeah. We're hunting. Some Deontay Johnsons, Casey Apcala, he plays for the Kings, so I can get that autograph. And these are great for autographs. Some Prism Rookies, T. Steibel, guys got? like that. I sat at my table for 10 minutes, sold the mantle, and then almost got a deal done for the Jalen Green, so I gotta balance my time. There's some good color in here, some rookies, base cards, greens, 25 cents, if you can collect a manual quickly. As much as I want these rookies and I can get them autographed, I realized something. I don't really have time to go get autographs, let's be real. I'm gonna be traveling the next three months. I can't go sit outside of games and hotels and do all that anymore. So I'm gonna keep the KZ just because he plays for the Kings. I'm gonna keep the Gafford because it's a silver. I'm gonna let these go. I changed my mind. Part of me that wants to get autographs again is like this 15, 16 year old again that like, I'll go autograph every once in a while. Like when I met Kevin Durant, here's where I'm at. Two Deontay Johnsons, Gafford Silver, KZ. And then I'm gonna take these bull bulls because it's 25 cents. The top loaders alone. How are you? Hey, good to see you. How are you doing? Too. Were you not waving at me? Well, no, I was. We got some 25 cent bins here. Nice. There are some good deals. What are you looking for? Great. Not much. I'm just looking for the peeps. Basically what I like to do is see what I recognize to see what I have. Okay. And see what I don't have. Trading card chick on Instagram. She's, so you acquired your father Father-in-law's in collection. Father-in-law's collection, and tell them your story. Tons of boxes that fill fill a room, so I decided to go through it and figure out how, to, how best to sell it, and I've just learned a lot along the way, and have pieced it out, sold a little bit on eBay, sold in person, I have learned a lot about it, I'm still learning a lot about it, it's been over a year, and um, I've fallen in love with the hobby, and I'm really enjoying it. What's your favorite part about the hobby? Um, you know, I really like vintage cards. I like the history with it, and I like that it doesn't change. This is the best impromptu, first off, <laughs> is this not the best impromptu interview? It I bring is. her in, say hi, bring her over. <laughs> I didn't even tell her I was interviewing her. If someone's entering the hobby in 2023, brand new, what advice do you have for them? Take your time, start pulling a couple cards, look up, look up their value on eBay, or there's a, a list of different sources that you can check out. Enjoy it. Just kind of learn from there, one by one, and figure out what interests you. That's it. Boom. 